Now Samal runs in completely unaware and Opa gets the confirmation. Always sucks to go down like that, but you always have to be wary of Uy, how papa, some of these teams might be playing. So the Knights, you see them deciding to still <gasps> camp the bridge, but it's not going too well oh, as a beautiful nade no, no, landing right no, on the top of Chico's head and Tensa also goes down. Uh -oh. At least there's a trade coming out, but this town, B-Town, B-Town of all teams taking it to the Knights. Oh, it's not B-Town, it's also... Hey, he's got the spell, the Knights, GG for the Knights, dude. Oh, but Koops, though, he's trying his best to hold nah, on. No but pudo. there's too many players to take care of, and even no full pudo, down. Oh, right, so we're down line now. It seems like they're getting the grip back up in this fight. But it's mainly because B-Town's helping him out here. Knights, they're crumbling down. Too many players to handle in the front. The bridge camp not really working out this time. Koops has fallen down. The down man needs a hand, but this time it seems like next to impossible. Xenox is in the back too. A lot of hopes from the final man alive. Xenox. Xenox <laughs> no es lo que tiene que irse para abajo del puente y, y quedarse ahí, ¿no? Y aguantar lo que hacer los punticos, porque es que ya, ya está más jodido. Ya si no está más para aquel lado que este lado. Jimmy using the staircase area. It's also going to sneak underneath the bridge. Polar is still unaware. Off the final man's position from Knights. Xenox is just trying to find a safe pathway underneath the water. Trying to see if the Polar Ace is going to take the bridge or not, or if it's going to be B Town. B Town has one player across. The rest is still fighting in the gridlock on the main island side. Okay, so no va a haber a. No va a haber a. Uy, loco, este. Este. Este puente está peligroso ahora, eh. Ya no se puede campear si te ven debajo del puente. Mira, pueden hacer eso. No mames. Ya no se puede campear el puente como antes. Ahora van a haber muchas maneras. De tú um, cambiar el puente y no vas a poder ponerte debajo de los puentes porque con la escalera y todo eso ya pueden ver por abajo, ¿no? Wow, loco, esto, esto es un cambio muy, muy dramático para, para el competitivo. He's not able to find that one single connection, Polar Ace. Uy, by lobby. Vision, but that's a perfect nade placement coming through from Jimmy. He's gonna find another opening on Polar Ace. Another man falls down. Now it's just two players alive from their side. B-Town, they're just rocking the floor on this bridge. And they're claiming it. They're stealing it away from even the even a team like Knights Polar Race. They want to get the control back in before now. It looks like next to impossible. ¿Y cómo, cómo falla tantas balas así? Bueno, pero se van que se van que sea con cuántas kills. Se llevaron casi Knights completo. Bueno, se llevaron dos de Knights y ahora se llevan uno de de PA. But the main goal here is to make it inside the zone and beat down. They're just going to make sure they're camping Polar Race out. We see Polar Ace being very wary, spraying that smoke, still worried that the B-Town team is camping them, but the zone is closing at this point in stage, the zone hurts a lot. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? ¿Se van a quedar ahí? What, loco? Y no, no decidieron pelear. Trey following close behind. I think he's just trying to keep tabs on where this team is rotating, because they know both of these teams are going to be rotating very close to each other. They'll pull up. No te pare, no te pare. Ay, uy, pero llegó un dedo de Panthers ahora. Y, no, ok. Four Brothers era, no era de Panthers. No, loco, pero qué pelea con este puente, tío. Y se va Sinox por la zona, GG's. Yep. 